Hey guys, good morning. This is Coffee with Chandra, and I am coming straight out of the Heartland. I am at actually at Hotel Kirkwood this morning because I am here for a women's conference, so that should be fun. Maybe I'll share some thoughts from that later on today. I'm sure it'll be great. It's gonna be half the day, so lots of stuff. But I was thinking last night about a comment somebody made to me yesterday, and the fact that I'm kind of outspoken and. <laughs> Those of you that know me know that. And um, someone made the comment to me that he felt that we were very similar in that we both feel comfortable in our own skin. And that's why we could talk to other people sometimes a little more openly and maybe criticize or compliment because they knew it was coming from a really genuine place. And I don't always think of myself being comfortable in my own skin, but it's always a work in progress. I thought it was an interesting comment that they said that about me. So I looked up a couple of points that, you know, you know, how do you become more comfortable in your own skin? If you're struggling to get there, or I mean, we all have days that we definitely aren't, but <clears throat> the more comfortable you are, and I'm watching people walk in, that's why I keep looking around, but the more comfortable you are in your own skin, the more confident you are. And I think the more you can help others gain confidence and also in teaching. So one is just taking care of yourself. And one thing I do that's really easy is having a monthly massage, taking care of myself. And it's both physically and mental, spiritual. I know that I'm doing it for myself. It's my time. And it, does wonders for my back. So what can you do for yourself that nurtures you? It's downtime down time for you to rejuvenate, whether it is just going to the library or going out with girlfriends or whatever makes, whatever resonates with you. So that's the first one. I'm just going to go over six here. The second is Think about, and the word meditate is used, but meditate to figure out who you are. And that doesn't mean just sitting down and emptying your mind. It's figuring out what you really like. I know some people that, especially women, because we're nurturers and caregivers, we often forget what we like because we put ourselves on the, on the back burner. You know, it might be a spouse or a child or whatever, but we don't always do what we would like to do. So after a while, you kind of forget what that thing is that you love to do. <clears throat> That's also time to figure out what ails your body. If you need to really listen to your body. The more you listen, the more you can hear what it is, what's telling you. So, <clears throat> number three, halfway done almost. Do things that make you happy. Like I said, sometimes we put ourselves on the back burner. And just really don't nurture ourselves. And I know one woman who kind of was going through a lot of things and she realized something that she loved was clog dancing. And so she went and she did um, lessons, clog dancing lessons, because it was something she had fun doing. It was physical exercise and it was for her. And I thought that was great. I don't know if she still does it. I'll have to find out if she's continued doing that or not. That was quite a while ago. So find that thing that makes you happy. And that might take, you might not know right off here. You might have to think about that and really discover it again. Four is learning to love the physical flaws. And we have a lot of physical attributes that are not necessarily flaws. Hey, Bridget. Um... They aren't necessarily flaws, but by our standards in the media, we're told they're flaws because we're not perfect. And I love the Dove commercials that address this. And they address it with, you know, all these little girls that they all look different. And they don't have flaws. They're just different. Some little girls have red hair and freckles. Some are dark complected. Everybody has these differences. And they're not flaws. So embrace those. They're just what makes you you. Notes are upside down here. 
also keeping an eye out here for a girl I'm meeting for this conference I'm going to this morning, so if I'm a little distracted. Um, again, with your physical flaws, those are also talking points. They make you more approachable. You're not perfect. You're a human being. Five is embrace your unique personality. <laughs> And I think I'm doing so much better at this, maybe, than I used to. Um, I sent a goofy picture to one of my cousins yesterday, and she emailed back, or she sent a message back, and I have to tell you that in the photo, I am wearing a corn hat. So, um, so she emailed back, and she said, you are so weird, but also so funny. <laughs> so, to make people laugh, be you. Do stupid things. Life's too short. I have a cousin that really embraces her unique craziness, and I love that. That's Erica. Um, we also did an exercise at church a few weeks ago, and we all wrote on each other's backs th things that we love about the other person, and positive comments, and one of mine was weirdly funny, so I embrace it. The fifth thing is embrace your unique personality. I just said that one because <laughs> like I'm a little distracted. So I'm going to do number six and wrap up really quickly here. Learn how to be alone by yourself. If you don't know who you are, you can't be effective in helping other people. And again, it makes you comfortable in your own skin to know who you are. I take every day that, every day, every year, if my birthday is on a work day, I take it off and I spend it with myself all day long. I do whatever I want. I usually get a massage, I go swimming, and keep in mind this is in February, so I just do whatever I want. Where there's will, there's way. And it's so fun because I'm introverted and I need that time to rejuvenate and recharge my batteries and I don't have to worry about, oh, you know, am I going to want to do this and the other person I'm with, they're not going to want to do this or it doesn't matter because it's just me. So learn how to be alone by yourself. So those are kind of six ways, not kind of, but those are six ways to learn how to be more comfortable in your own skin. So everybody try some out and let me know what you think. Because if you think about it, the longest relationship we ever have is a relationship with ourselves. So we have to know who our self is before we can accomplish our goals or know what we want. So everybody have a great day. I will let you know later a little more about what's going on at this conference. And if you would like, like, share, comment on any of my videos, and I'll put them on YouTube. <clears throat> so everybody has an awesome day.